Hi friends. Okay, we're doing chapter eight, okay? And that is on page 35. We were told it was going to be a surprise attack, Henry began. Tens of thousands of Union troops were to march in the town in Virginia, Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg. We would attack we would attack the rebels, take the town, and then march south to capture Richmond's Virginia's capital. Henry explained about the Union needing a victory badly, that people of North were losing faith in their army and their generals. It seemed like they were sure to win in Fredericksburg, except that the rebels knew exactly what the Union was planning, and they were ready. Henry said the rebels had a bright commander, the General Robert E. Lee. Somehow, he always figured out what their Union army was going to be and how they were going to attack or how they planned to attack. Sure enough, he had figured out that the Union plan had to attack Fredericksburg. He sent thousands of soldiers into the hills above the town, Henry said. He also sent dozens of cannons into the hills. Thomas knew that both sides had been mighty weapons, which were so heavy that they could pull by horses, so powerful that they needed at least four men to operate them. Some of the big gun shot cannonballs that were even heavier than Thomas. Other shot shells, explosives that were filled with razor sharp metal strips, nails, and metal balls. Just one exploding shell could kill 10 men in seconds. The rebels had the high ground, Henry explained. Anyone trying to get near those hills were going to get mowed down. And that's exactly what happened. Henry described how the first Union regiment attacked, the first, how line of soldiers were charging across a field towards the hills. They didn't even get close, he said. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Rebel cannons thundered hundreds of blasts every minute, and with every blast, the Union soldiers fell. Men who managed to survive the blast were met with storms of bullets. Within minutes, there were hundreds of men lying down and wounded in the mud. Henry said, and the Union generals wouldn't admit their plan was a failure. They sent more regiments out to attack, and every time was the same. Kaboom! 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 So what is happening, friends? So it looks like they're trying to take out more regiments of soldiers, right? More groups of soldiers. And every single time that they bring out more soldiers, they tend to have the same outcome. Think about what the outcome is, okay? What did we just read about? More soldiers dead and or wounded, their bodies bleeding and shattered. And then it was our turn, Henry said. Henry's regiment, regiment lined up and started charging towards the hills. There was so much more we could barely see, he said. There were bodies everywhere. Halfway through the charge, Henry's leg seemed to get stuck between two rocks. He pulled it, but it wouldn't come loose. As the smoke cleared, he saw that it was a fallen Union soldier who had taken hold of his boot, clutching it with him with all his might. Henry thought the men wanted help, but he didn't. Henry said he knew he was dying. He was trying to stop me from running into the death trap. Cannons exploded with their deadly fire. Men fell like stalks of corn cut down by invisible blades. And then on chapter after chapter or after page 38, there's also a picture, friends. So you guys can go back and make sure you guys are looking at these pictures and kind of analyzing what you see okay it tells you a lot from the story henry managed to crawl off the fields other mans weren't as lucky 156 of our men died that day he said over 200 more were wounded four more regiments were sent in before the general finally ordered the union army to retreat in all more than 12,000 soldiers were killed or wounded in the fredericksburg henry looked at thomas our men are worried, he said. This is the first fight since Fredericksburg, and we need to win it. All around Thomas, men were all around Thomas, men were lining up in March, their faces glim and scared. Something terrible was coming. Thomas could feel it too. Alright, friends, chapter nine is the next video.